You were at my side almost all the time after the bridge collapsed. Almost. Tell me how you got into the monastery courtyard. Ha! And they said we couldn't get near the walls. Half a day and the town is taken. Report! Fighting for the castle continues, and a group of rebels have barricaded themselves inside the monastery. What of my children? Likely in the church as well, sire. Fen took a priest to task, finally mumbled something about a passage neath the walls. It would take a week to get a battering ram in here. Axes, sire. That will also take time. But what other course do we have? This priest. What of him? What of this passage? I fainted for I could really get going on him. He's under guard below. You've some work to do, Commander. Yes, sire. Silas, you look to this door. Fen, come with me. Witcher. Your grace. I have a mission for you, one suited to your abilities. Vernon can be persuasive, but he's also hot-tempered, at times losing both his self-control and his subject. You must try to find this other passage on your own. Succeed, and you'll be the envy of all Vizima. Maybe Roach will get something out of this priest. It's a relatively large town. I could use a hint. I'm counting on him. But time is of the essence. Please explore the area. We seek a tunnel or something similar. Beware of traps. They may have planted some. You're best suited to this. My men lack your skills. Soldiers loyal to the Lavalettes would never harm the Baroness's children. I shall be reassured as to that when I see them, not before. We must act quickly. The rebels are dispersed, in disarray. As dim-witted as they are, I fear they could conclude the children would make good hostages. All right, I'll go. I'm relying on you, Witcher. Where are those axes? Move your arse! Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings, Dark Difficulty, for the Enhanced Edition. Uh, this is the fourth part of the prologue, the um, we split up we split up at the monastery section. Uh, first thing I do is I go and uh, do the quest here of, called Woe to the Vanquished. Uh, you just have to convince the guards either using persuasion, uh, magic, or intimidation to uh, get them to leave the villagers alone. I decided to go with Persuasion. I'm pretty sure all three work because you never had a chance to do them before. Uh, the magic is you use the Axie sign and you basically use a Jedi mind trick on them, which is pretty neat. Uh, I believe you also have the option of making them pay you? Or is, maybe it's the next group. Um, I decide to not ask for payment. I don't know why. I don't think they really. I don't think they really give you any money, anyways. I just didn't think it was worth it. Also, that just seems kind of like a dick move. Like this dude comes in no and saves your life here. and then demands for money. That just seems mean. Leave them alone. They're innocent. Uh, the other innocent. Uh, little side acts. quest in the area is you. Is that the? So you, is that the sorry. Is uh that no these group that this group alone. of guards is basically you setting fire to the house like they. They purposely barricaded the people inside the house and are going to set it on fire. So you're telling him to stop? He asks, what are you going to do? Geralt threatens to kill him. Uh, you don't actually have to kill him, he will give up. So you don't actually have to go as... You don't actually have... To, I think you only have to take down about half his health, so it's not that bad. Doesn't take too many hits to take him down. I just kind of hit him with the yard sign and then uh, attack him with my sword for a bit. Um, yeah, I think like this is pretty much it. I think one more hit and he's done. Yeah. I know this group. You can make them pay you for what you did, which. Again, to me, that just seems like a dick move. I don't know about anyone else, but... 
But that's just the way I play. I, besides, even if you do make them pay, I think you only get 50 orange. Also, make sure to actually open the door and actually tell them it's safe to come out. Uh, one time I played this and I forgot to actually go tell them that they're free to go, and I think I failed the quest. Find a place to hide until this madness ends. But where? Uh, don't actually know what this. Oh, this is still woe to the vanquished. Okay. What shall we do now? So it never really. Okay, so woe to the vanquished is two parts there. Okay, that's kind of neat. I did not realize that. This fight down here is completely optional. I just kind of felt like coming down here and fighting. Just for fun. Just no particular reason. You do see a little bit of a scene that kind of in, that kind of shows you where the uh, hidden passageway is. You actually have to go through the sewers. So. Yeah, you can kind of see I use Quen a lot, and I kind of dance around my enemies, usually retreating to put the shield back up. That's mostly just because I can't really take any damage right now. Uh, nobody really can unless you're playing on, like, easy or normal. I don't know about normal, I never actually played it. I started, uh, my first time through I played this on hard, but at the time Insane was the only thing higher, so I refused to play that. Especially with my really bad computer. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, what else? They've taken all from us, save our lives. What time is it? Oh, it's pretty late. Um. Alright, so sir. the entrance to the secret passage is actually just behind that flimsy looking wall over there. And you use the art sign to break it down. Uh, right outside the entrance, there will be three standard guards. Uh, by standard, I mean they only carry a sword. A uh, standard one-handed sword, no uh, broadswords or shields for these guys. Alright, so down here, you're actually going to encounter the first monster of the game. Uh, the monster that you encounter is a Drowner. If you've played The Witcher 1, you will recognize these guys, because you fight a lot of them in the old one. The first game. Guess they'll never learn. That was kind of cool. I did not expect that to happen. I started looting the dead body that the drowner was eating while attacking him. Uh, that right there is a place of power. You, uh, If you notice the medallion icon, that's the wolf head. That uh, Sometimes the eyes will light up and kind of... Like, it will, glow, it will glow brighter and you'll hear a, you'll get a sound cue. That means that there's something hidden nearby. So if you press the Z key, if you're playing with, if you're playing on the PC, or if you're just using keyboard and mouse, uh, you generally activate a place of power, which gives you a time a little bonus. Uh, this one's probably something like health regeneration or extra health. I don't actually know what it is. And now that I think about it, I don't think this is the sewers. I think this is a dungeon. It looks like flooded jail cells. Maybe it was turned into a sewer. Maybe I'm just crazy. I'm um, just kind of looking for loot. It's, it's an RPG. There's lots of loot. The drowners here at the very beginning of the game aren't very difficult, and there actually aren't that many drowners at all in the game. Just 
Uh, the second set that you'll run into are more difficult. And I don't believe I've, I've actually leveled up at all yet. I think I'm. I don't believe I've put in any talent points at this point. So I think as soon as I get out of the uh, dungeon sewer thing, I believe I level up. Uh, I said this in a previous video that if you are on anything lower than hard difficulty, you can level up from the character screen directly. If you are on hard, insane, or dark, you have to go into the meditation mode and then select your upgrades from the character sheet in there. So it basically means I can't level up in the middle of a fight. Have you noticed only training is available at this point in the game? I believe you have to spend seven talent points in training before you unlock the other three. Uh, the first one I unlocked was the the bottom one. I believe that's um, enhanced vigor regeneration, and the second ability ability that I got was being able to block from any direction. That's something that you do not have by default. Uh, you block by by pressing the E key on your keyboard. No idea on the game on the gamepad support. Yeah. So yeah. Originally in this game, you could not block if you didn't have any vigor, which is the the yellow bar that uses that's used up when you cast magic. Or signs, I don't think they're supposed to, they're actual spells, but the game more or less counts it as magic. But now you can block without having any vigor, I think you might just take more damage from it from blocking without it. Uh, you don't really block much in this game, I... Ah. Stupid. Um, like auto sleep mode, I should really change that limit. From, I think it's at the 10 minutes. I should really change that to 20 or 30. So after you dispatch those three guards up in the... I don't even know what that's supposed to be called. In like small armory. Kind of just head through here. It's kind of the only path at the moment, so there's not... Like you can't really get lost at this point. I'm just looting stuff. This game does have a universal item box, but you can only access it in the inns for chapters 1, 2, and 3. So nothing yet in the prologue, so don't try and carry too much stuff. Uh, you have a weight limit of 250 to begin with, and that can be upgraded not through any skill points, uh, wearing certain equipments and actually saving Arian Lavalette, like sp making him surrender, will actually give you an extra 50 to weight capacity. Uh, you'll see why when um, you'll see at, you'll see why at the end of the prologue. So yeah, take care of the two soldiers and the shield shield guy. And you're almost done this section. The only thing left to do is fight another group of guards. Uh, then you get a key that opens up the gate that Fultest has his, his men trying to break down with an axe at the beginning of the section. Uh, there will be two uh, standard uh, sword bearing enemies inside this door here. So, yeah, that's uh, using Quen like that at the very beginning of the game is actually pretty helpful. It lets you just charge in, take a few hits, and you get to keep attacking. So then you can try and take out like a weaker enemy before you have to run away. Um, if you're having trouble with this section, I would suggest taking some uh, a couple potions, uh, specifically swallow. 
Uh, here I use all of my bombs. In the sorry, in the prologue, uh, each section will give you five salmon bombs. So, like I specifically use the ones in the second section to fight Arian, Lavalette, and in this one I use them for this fight. Uh, if you don't want to, it's not your thing. It's totally fine. I just think like those bombs have a decent radius of explosion. They can cause stun, which could give you an instant kill if you're lucky. I believe you can even get instant kills on the big guy with the sword. And that big guy with the sword, I think he can kill you in a single hit if you're unlucky. Like he'll take down Quen in a single hit on dark mode. Uh, I'm not sure how much he does on a lower difficulty. So yeah, try and save the the big guy for last. Just so... Like, if you get rid of all his minions, he's not nearly as difficult. He's just a really big enemy. Or, you know, nah, he's taller than Geralt. He's fairly large. It's mostly the reach of that sword that I'm worried about. Uh, I remember back in the old versions, maybe it was just kind of wonky hit detection, but broadswords would have a pretty big reach on them. Again, I can't guarantee it, was, it wasn't bad hit detection, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't. So yeah, um, against shield enemies and like the dude with the sword here, uh, heavy attacks seem to work the best. But yeah, if you saw there, that one hit he got on me took down half of my health, so you can see why I run away from these guys. And they kind of scare me. At this point in the game, that is probably the toughest enemy you will fight. Uh, the dragon part in the last video was the most difficult, and I don't actually know what killed him there. He just kind of fell over. But, oh well. So after you after you win the fight, uh, go back inside and there's a locked door on... I guess it'll be your right when you're coming back in. Some gloves in the chest there. And then you just have to open the gate with this wheel by clicking the left mouse button very rapidly. Or pressing X or something. So all you have to do now is you talk to full test and that will end this section. So I will see you in another video. You have just become the most titled witcher in the world. And the wealthiest. I'll remind you of that when this is all over, sire. See, Vernon? Geralt succeeded. Lucky he did. The priest was downright discourteous and went off to meet his gods. I saw Scoia'tael on the river. Where? How many? What colors did they wear? Plow the elves. We'll tend to them later. The monastery awaits. Scoia'tael. This puzzle is beginning to come together, Geralt. You're either telling the truth, or weaving a very convincing lie. I want to hear the rest. Foltest bastards. The Solo. What happened? 